Tomlin's legacy is sealed, right? Like he's a Hall of Fame head coach. Um, but he is he if he wants to keep his streak alive, never having a losing season, he needs a quarterback and he needs one now. So we are talking about Jimmy G's sass out here, 23, 24, 25 million dollars that the Pittsburgh Steelers would have to take on take on here. So if you were to trade trade for him, say it's a fourth, fifth, or sixth round pick, whatever or whatever it is, right? You still only get Jimmy G for that one year, and then you got to redo his contract or or like or or like let him walk. Is you it might only want twenty five million dollars to make the playoffs? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what, how much money do you make once you make the playoffs? Not only the the ticket sales, especially if you have a home game. Right. You got the ticket sales. You you got all of the the concessions. You got. It's absolutely worth the twenty five million to go out and get Jimmy G to be your quarterback to bring you to a playoffs. And you might only need him for one year. Maybe Kenny Pickett's ready at the end of this year. You yeah. know what I mean? But you've you've got to you've got to do something because without a quarterback you're you're not a winning team and that's that's something that i and the steelers organization is known for for going out and making these moves and wanting to be the best of the best they're, they're a great run organization i don't see them standing back with mr Trubisky uh, a, at all yeah so so this is the problem that i see with just because i believe Jimmy G still has a no trade clause in his contract. So so basically he has to a, a agree to go to said location, right? Jimmy G thinks he is a elite quarterback in this league, which I think he which I think he think he is. However, if he were to go to Pittsburgh Combs, he would simply just be a placeholder for Kenny Pickett to get ready and then to come in. Is Jimmy G willing to sit there and basically mentor a young quarterback for a year or two and then be in the same situation that he is in now. I, I think that you're looking at it again, like we talked about earlier in the show. I think you're just looking at it from, from the negative side, right? You're looking at it from the positive side. You're not a placeholder. You're the starting quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers and you're in your free agent contract year. Go out there, shell out, bring them to the playoffs too. And then be like, look, every year I've had a healthy team. I've gone to the playoffs. Maybe you go to an even an AFC title game with the Pittsburgh Steelers in this really tough AFC. That boosts your market even that much more. And then all of a sudden, you're going to you just have to understand that the amount of teams that are going to be looking for a franchise quarterback are, are the teams that aren't very good. Uh, the teams that are very good already have their franchise quarterback. So you're not going to be going to a very good team. But if, if you want that payday, if the money is what you want, that's where you're going to have to go. You can, you have a chance, you have a legitimate chance to be a Super Bowl contender if you go to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. 